Hi, I'm here with Neil Patel. He is a digital marketing, marketing consultant and co-founder of Crazy Egg and Kissmetrics, which are both the top marketing tools in their segments. Neil is well known for increasing web traffic and revenue for companies such as TechCrunch, Amazon, and Salesforce. So Neil, tell me some tactics that you use to drive traffic to clients' websites and also increase conversions. Sure, there's a few things that I end up doing. So the first is, is I work with them on creating really good content, right? Uh, whether it's blog posts or infographics or good video material that people can learn from, or even if they don't have the ability to do any of that, let's say they're e-commerce that like Amazon on them, helping them figure out how to get more reviews, right? Because reviews is a form of content. Because the more content you have, typically the more search engine traffic you're gonna get. If you look at the first page of Google, most sites have at least a thousand to two thousand words of content on their site or on that page typically. So it just shows that content's key. Another thing that I end up doing is help building links. I'll find out who's linking to your competitors and I'll hit up all of those sites and try to convince them to link back to you. Those links will help drive traffic because people click on them, plus the more links you have, typically the more search engine traffic you end up getting. The third way I drive more traffic is I go find all the social media influencers in your space, whether it's on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever it may be, and I'll convince them to end up mentioning you guys, promoting you guys through their social channels. And then when it comes to converting those visitors, I first figure out all the objections that your users have. So not just the people who are saying, I love your product and service and here's why, but I find out from all the people who are like, I don't like it, I don't want to sign up, I don't want to use it, and here's why. So for example, if you serve them and they say, hey, this costs way too much money. A few things we can do is, one, we could take your price, let's say it's $99 for your product. We can end up changing the price to like 157 or 200 bucks, and we'll cross it out with a red mark and with like limited time only, 99 bucks. So it makes people feel like, oh, they're getting a deal. Or we'll test things like, all right, it's $99, so you may feel it's expensive, but we'll do case studies saying, hey, here's all the companies who are paying $99 a month or whatever it may be, and yeah, maybe $99, but they made 100000 from using the software in 90 days or whatever time period. And we'll show a lot of different cases in different industries and people are like, wow, maybe expensive, but people are making a ton of money from using the software, so although it may cost us money, we're going to make more, way more from it, so in the end it's still worth paying for. Great, and give me an example of how much you can typically increase revenue and volume for a company. Sure, it really ranges quite a bit. Sometimes it's only like 10-20%, and sometimes it's like 2-300%. And what usually dictates that? It just depends on how much they've been doing. So the newer sites is harder to increase traffic by a lot. The older sites is actually easier. So it's actually easier for me to take Amazon and boost their traffic by 20% than it is for me to take a brand new site and boost their traffic by 20%. Okay. And the reason being is when a site's age and it has a brand, people trust it more. And you can do a lot more different marketing tactics that you couldn't do with a brand new site. Okay, makes sense. And Neil, I've heard you only work with a limited amount of companies per year. Tell me how you choose these companies. So there's a few ways. One, it has to be fun to work with. That's the most important thing for me because if it's not fun, I don't care to do it. The second is, assuming it's fun, can I actually provide results? Because I can't really help all companies do well. For example, if you're selling a uh, metal hook, with crap hooked onto it and you're saying, hey, this is going to be earrings and we're going to revolutionize this space, most people are probably not going to buy it. So even if you had a million bucks to pay me, don't really want to work with you because you can't really do much for your product or service. So assuming I can do well, that would be number two. And then the third one is, is can it be profitable? So if you're paying me, I'm going to create random numbers, 100 grand. I have to make sure I make you more than 100 grand. Even if I made you 150, doesn't mean it's worth it for you, right? Because you probably have more than 50 grand in expenses on top of me. So, but if you pay me 100 grand and I can make you 10 million, the economics can start working out, right? So I have to make sure it's profitable for you as well. Okay, great. And Neil, what is one thing that you can really attribute to your success? Sure, one of the main things is I would say is I hustle and work hard. So I, work probably 70 plus hours a week and I do whatever it takes to get things done. 
Okay, great. Neil, what hobbies or talents do you have that directly correlate with your work performance? One of the main hobbies that I have is I love sports. I played in a basketball league for over 10 years right when I was a kid. I love the Los Angeles Lakers, even though they're not doing that well this year. And I'm really competitive. I just always want to win. And the same goes with business, right? I take that from my personal life into the corporate world, and I think that really helps me because like, I do whatever it takes to win. No ifs, ands, and buts. You either win or you lose. There's nothing in between. Great. And I have one last question for you, Neil. Tell me your predictions for your company in the next year. I would say over the next year, right now we focus heavily on SaaS, e-commerce, and mobile, those three areas. Our product's going to develop even more. We're going to uh, provide more solutions for those markets. We're also going to expand. And I think we're going to get more into the enterprise space, um, which will end up requiring us to hire more enterprise sales reps. But I would say that's what's going to happen over the next 12 months. Great. Neil, thank you so much for meeting with me. And if you're interested in learning more and connecting with Neil Patel, go to Fundology.com.